Love is most definitely in the air. Are you ready for this Valentine's tutorial, please? So first, I'm going to start off by priming my face with MAC Prep and Prime. And I'm going to apply that all over my face and rub it in. Now I'm going to be using this pore filler from Benefit Cosmetics. It is pore professional and I'm applying it on my cheeks and my nose so that I can have a solid foundation. Now I'm brushing up my eyebrows with this spoolie and I'm going to be filling in my brows using Milani's Dip Brow in the shade Brunette. You want to go ahead and start at your arch whenever you're filling in your brows and then you're going to just drag it straight out so very lightly because I want my brows to be as natural as possible for this look. Now I'm going to be using Pro Concealer and this is in the shade Cool Tan and I'm just going to clean up my brow following along the line. And I'm going to do the top as well. Now it's time to use my pot paint from MAC and this is soft okra and I'm applying it on my lid and then I'm going to blend it out. You want to make sure that you have a nice solid base for your eyeshadow. That is what makes your colors pop. So now I'm going to start off by using my Sephora Pro Palette. I'm using the shade Oat and I'm going to be using that as my transition color. So I'm applying that all over my lid in windshield wiper motions. And I'm going into Terracotta and I'm go just going to start off at the ends of my eyelids and bring it towards my tear duct. Now I'm going to go into my Carity palette. I'm taking the hot pink from that palette and I'm applying it above my crease. You want to make sure you're taking your time and building that color. So now I'm going in with my concealer and I'm going to use this to blend the pink and my brows together so that everything has a nice solid transition. So you just want to apply that and then blend it out into your pink eyeshadow. Now it's time for my Huda Beauty palette. I am using Man Eater and I'm going to take that and apply that right in my crease so that I have a nice color gradient. Now I'm using Bossy and Bossy is going to be used at the corners of my eyes because I want to have a nice transition. Now I'm using this dark purple from my NYX Love Conquers All palette and I'm just using that to darken up the smoky eye effect. And that was what the brown was for so that I have a nice transition into the smoky eye. So I'm just building that color into my crease. And then I'm going to go back and darken it up with a matte black. So I'm taking that black and just applying that into the corners of my eyes. And I'm going to bring the color to the front towards my tear duct. It's okay if things get messy because we are going to clean it up. So now it's time to clean it up and I'm taking that pot paint from Soft Okra and I am lining out my crease. So you want to make sure you're using the concealer brush flat and you want to bring the pot paint to the eyeshadow so that you have a nice solid blend. So now I'm going back in with Bossy and I'm using a blending brush to apply my color. So I'm going from the black and doing a nice horizontal blend. 
So now I'm taking that black truffle and making a nice color gradient within my lid. So now I'm using Flamingo and Flamingo is the color that I'm going to use on my lid. So remember to blend horizontally so you're applying your eyeshadow horizontally so that everything is nice and well blended. You want to make sure you apply enough of Flamingo so that the pink shows. So now I'm going to use Moon Dust in my tear duct just to give my eyes a little bit of a pop. This Huda Beauty palette, the pigments are so strong, you don't need a lot of it. So now I'm going to be using this liquid glitter and it's just going to give my eyes a little bit of a pop and this is Topaz Twinkle. Now on top of Topaz Twinkle, I'm using the rose gold from the Huda Beauty palette so it just makes everything nice and well formatted. Now I'm using fling towards the end of the eye so that everything has the nice color gradient that I'm going for. So it's time for that liner and I'm going to use a very thin eyeliner brush so that my wing isn't too thick and takes away from everything that you just built. So I'm going to, not going to do a wing, I'm going to be bringing my eyeliner into my smoky eye. So you want to take the brush and just curve the liner upward into your smoky eye. And then we're going to take a matte black and blend out the eyeliner. So take your time when you're doing this, please ladies. So now I'm going in with the eyeshadow and I'm just blending everything in together. If you don't put a matte black over the eyeshadow, over the eyeliner, I'm sorry, it will smear. So even if you're just applying a little bit because you don't want it that dark, make sure you apply some. So now my waterline, I'm going to be using a white liner because I wanted something a little bit different for Valentine's Day. So I'm using a white liner and I'm applying that on my waterline and then I'm going to apply a very dark mascara onto my bottom lashes so that you can see the difference. So Fenty Beauty, Fenty Beauty, I'm sorry, is the foundation that I'm using. And I'm applying that all over my face with a damp beauty blender. No dry beauty blenders, ladies. Please wet those babies up. So my concealer is Max Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42. Applying that to my T-zone underneath my eyes and below my cheekbones. Now I'm using that beauty blender and I'm blending that outwards. Be careful when you're doing underneath your eyes so that you don't get any of your foundation onto your white eyeliner that you put on your waterline. So now I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette and I'm contouring my nose. I'm going to apply a few at my hairline. And of course, I'm going to round out my cheeks because I love my cheeks to look very lifted. And then I'm going to do my jawline as well. So I'm using a brush to go ahead and blend out my contour and this is a dual fiber blending brush using it to round out my contour and give me the shape that I want. So now it's time to bake. I'm using Ben Nye's banana powder and I'm applying that underneath my eyes and in my t-zone and I'm going to go ahead and do underneath my cheekbones as well because I'm going for a really lifted look. Now it's time for falsies. Always apply your lashes from the center and then glue down your corners. It's the easiest way to apply your lashes, ladies. Now it's time for that mascara. So like I said, you're going to be applying it at the top and you're going to do the bottom as well. The best way to get the most color from your mascara is applying it side to side and downward. So you want to do that when you're having white eyeliner on your waterline because you want that black to still show up so that you don't just have 
right underneath your eyes. So side to side and downward and build that mascara onto your bottom lashes. Even if there's nothing there, you can pull some out. So the finishing powder I'm using is Max NC45 and I'm applying that. I decided to try something different and apply my finishing powder while I was still baking and guys, I love it. It, it just gives you so much more of that dramatic look because your highlight is still there. It's easier for me to find where I want my contour and where I want my highlight to be. So I'm going to be doing that from now on. Now I'm just using a regular brush to dust away the excess um, baking powder. So take all that setting powder off. Make sure. And now I'm going to be using rich mahogany to round out my cheeks just so that I have a little bit more of a dramatic contour because that's definitely what I'm going for so I can catch my base eyes. And I'm applying that at my hairline as well. And going back over, making sure that I took all of that setting powder off. And you want to use a tapered brush when doing this. It's the easiest way to make sure you're catching absolutely everything off of your face. So I'm going to be using Anna Glow to create my highlighter. I love their illuminator. It's so strong but you have to know how to apply it so i'm just using a small tapered brush to apply that in the areas that i want so at the round of my cheeks my nose and a little bit on my forehead but i absolutely love it guys it's a great investment now my blush my favorite blush i'm using anastasia beverly hills blush kit and this is coastline that i'm using on my cheeks I just love the color. It's perfect between my skin tone and the blush color that I want. It kind of adds to my contour pretty much. So now I'm using Dose of Colors. Dose of Colors smells amazing, guys. All of their lipsticks smell like chocolate. So I'm going to be shaping out my lips with a soft brown lip pencil because I don't really like the shape of my lips. I like to have more of a pout so I'm gonna create my cupid's bow so that I have more kissable lips for Valentine's Day. So take your time and outline your lips and then I'm going to be using my dose of colors in the center for my ombre. There you go. When you're doing your cupid's bow, make sure you're making an X. So now I'm applying truffle. Truffle is the color from Dose of Colors. And I'm going to be using a flat eyeshadow brush to blend out my lip liner into my lip color. And the eyeshadow brush is great, guys. It, if you don't have a lip brush, it definitely comes in handy. That is what I use it for. I never use it on my eyes. I always use it to blend my lip ombres. And now I'm going to be using Max Prep and Prime Spray to seal this look all together. And I'm using my Beauty Blender just to go back in and make sure everything is well blended, especially my contour and blush. Now it's time to pop them bottles and celebrate with your bae. Love this Valentine look, guys. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you can stay updated on all of these beautiful looks. And I will see you guys next week.